it's a continuation of the storage video for stamps. Mm, I found another non-stick um, scissors. Which one was the uh, Tim Holtz? I thought it was non-stick. But then they turned out to be a little sticky on uh, glue somewhere, if you cut the tape. But uh, that one, the Fiskars, is supposed to be with a Teflon. So they are not very uh, sticky. It's like a, like an iron, basically. Let's try that one. And the glue was uh, spray adhesive multipurpose repositionable. Repositionable glue. So it's very, very sticky now. And I hope it will stay that way, not dry out. And tacky glue was not very, um, very sticky. But the tacky glue, I think, has to be repositionable or tacky over and over. Which I bought a little bit of uh, one thing. I had to go exchange it. So just let me see. Okay, that one is good. I let it sit overnight in order to make sure that it's properly dried out. So now I think it did. Yeah. So that one, that one I already put on the plastic, and this one, that glue was kind of weak. I loved using it, but for the other projects apparently. So now you get a little bit of some kind of plastic. That one was a wrapper for something. I, um, I got it as a wrapper for some kind of uh, technology device like speakers or something. I don't know what, I, what was there. Just a little report basically from my, for myself. Love that stamp. It's Halloween. But it has all kind of scripture in it. And this one I was previously making, so that was, I guess that's something extra. Oh, that's probably the, that's supposed to go with that, yeah. Well, no longer needed since I'm going to be putting it in storage. So, that one. I used the net stamp, I used the... Um, uh, our peg uh, stays on and then all, I never was able to get it out that's my favorite stamp super ground it's really really good but um, it doesn't work that much anymore too bad dried out and this one is just the package the same stickiness yeah that's good That's good. This is a little different material. It's a rubber rather than um, foam. We had foam over there in a raven. That was a foam. And this one is a rubber. Oh, that's very sticky. Super nice. Like I said, I do it for Misty. And uh, in order to stick it. But I don't have exactly Misty. I have my own handmade Misty, which I'm extremely happy with. I, it cost me literally like three dollars instead of 50, how Misty cost. And all I needed to do, I bought hinges at Ace Hardware and I bought that grid from Score PayPal. But it lo it's losing that stickiness and I did want to order a little bit, little B. Um, grid. So instead, I just uh, did my stamp, made my stamp sticky. So just uh, place it here, or no, place it here, place the stamp over here, and stamp it like Misty does over and over again. And I love that too. It's just big and nice, and I don't know, it's about a hundred. 50 cost a little one with Misty, but this one is a big one. The amount of it and the size of it is just amazing. So, keep going. It's a little project and mostly I'm filming it for myself. Just to know that what I was doing in that day. 
since I went very sick and I don't know what is gonna happen now so I just I would like to document my days and I got into planners and organizers for the same reason because it's super super nice to have your track the track of what you were doing and when it's I guess for the cover yeah, let's check this one. Oh, that's a nice background stamp. Never used. Wow. I still have those. <laughs> Never used. How amazing. Yeah, nothing goes to waste in this house. Because everything, even that kind of plastic, most people would just throw away. I quite need this. When I saw it, I was immediately thinking, oh, stamps or packing material I can make a pocket out of it project letters whatever since I have used a fuse tool I was dreaming about the fuse tool forever it's just so amazing thing wow it's uh, I thought to use those soldering uh, device what the computer programmers do when they sew their computers but it a little bit different. It has different ends, different nozzles. I don't know how to call it exactly. Nozzles, I guess. Oh, that's a luxurious. That's a um, print and newspaper. Wow. Never used that even once, too. Yeah, nice and sticky. And I cut it a little bit of the ages, closer to the ages, but not the exact age. So, in here. That I would have some room to pull it. Grab it. Some age to grab it. Perfect, perfect. And that background, oh my gosh, never used even once. I cut it out of the wood and it was so brand new. It was laying there for what, about nine years, I would say. Yeah, nine years. Nine years, you guys. Wow. Oh my gosh. 